What's good YouTube, back again with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you my Barry Sanders jersey collection. Barry Sanders, what more can I say? My favorite running back ever, my favorite NFL player ever. Played 10 years, and all of his 10 years he played in his prime. He was a phenomenal player. Unfortunately, he retired a little early because he was still in his prime. But it was a pleasure to see him play. And when it comes to running backs, Barry Sanders, LaDamian Tomlinson, Curtis Martin, Walter Payton, Marshall Falk. Those are just some of my favorite running backs of all time. Pause one second. I'm getting old, guys. I really need to retire. So I did this entire video collection and one of my most prized possessions. If I'm going to show you a Barry Sanders collection video, I have to put this in the video. All right. So the thing that I wanted to show you was this amazing sneaker in which he would wear. And here we have the Nike Zoom Turf. This is a sneaker he would wear in the 1996 season. And as you can see, this is dope, y'all. This is so dope. I mean, I need to collect them all. So any sneaker that Barry Sanders wore during his playing career is definitely a must have in my collection. If I can get it, great. And this is the only one that I have so far. Of course, it goes perfect with the jerseys. That beautiful Honolulu blue. So. There you have it. This is something I definitely had to put in the video. Enjoy the rest of the video. Peace. So since Barry Sanders played only on one team, there's only so much Barry Sanders jerseys you can actually have and obtain. Of course, I wouldn't mind a couple of more Pro Bowl jerseys. But in this video, we're going to see all the jerseys that I have. And I'll probably talk about some of my favorites throughout showing you the jerseys. All right, so let's get right into it. So the first jersey I'm going to show you is the Pro Bowl jersey. This is the 1995 Pro Bowl. Now, it's weird because although it says 1995, it's really the 94 season. This would be the 94 season, the 75th anniversary season, the season in which the 49ers would win the Super Bowl. That's what this Pro Bowl is for. And this was just a dope jersey, man. I need to get the Deion Sanders to this with the 24. That'd be sick. And yeah, this is the Pro Bowl jersey. I know I did a video of this when I first got it, so I probably have a video of this one and the Emmett Smith jersey, which they did wrong, but you know, it is what it is. But yeah, this is the Barry Sanders Pro Bowl jersey. This is the first jersey we're gonna start it off with, all right? Uh, I guess my latest pickup I'll show you is the 1991 Barry Sanders jersey. This is an all heat press jersey other than the patch here. Thanks for everybody who was telling me what the patch stood for. It was for the GM and the ex-player for the Detroit Lions. And this is an all-heat press jersey, dazzled on the upper part of the chest. Heavy-duty mesh. This is a really heavy jersey. And then you have that old-school NFL logo. Definitely a dope jersey. Glad to have it in the collection. I would like a white version to this one as well. If not this one, then maybe the 93. Because I can never have too many Barry Sanders jerseys. So there's that. So that's the 91 Barry Sanders. Another jersey that I picked up, and this was actually the first Mitchell and S. Barry Sanders jersey that I ever picked up, and this was the Legacy line. So this is more or less like their Swingman's. And this is actually a pretty good jersey. Now, the material is a little bit more like a shirt material. So I would say that's a pretty major difference. You don't really get that jersey material. But this is the Legacy Barry Sanders, the 1996. It's representing the 96 version. Clean jersey, still stitched on, but it has that fake stitching. So... You have the gray outline stitched, and then you have that fake stitch like you see on Swingman's. And then this is what the jock tag looks like. And then this jersey is supposed to be actually this jersey. So you see here, you have the double stitch on the numbers, and you see the gray outline on here, and you see how it's double layered, and that's supposed to be this. <laughs> but see how different these jerseys are? So obviously, if you're looking to get jerseys, this is more like what they wore at the time. This is just more for the casual fan who just wants to wear their jersey and enjoy the game. This is also the 1996 authentic clean jersey. Again, you get that dazzle material on the upper part of the jersey. You have your mesh on the lower part of the jersey. You have your jock tag. So, super dope. Now we're gonna get to the white version of the 1996. And I know I showed this in the recent pickup video. Dope jersey. 
I would like to have more white jerseys, especially like this style. But you have the Sanders on the back. Double stitch 20. Double stitch on the numbers. Really dope jersey. Old school NFL logo. And of course, Barry Sanders in the era he played in, we would never see him playing the equipment jerseys because those were already in the 2000s. So there's a 1996 away jersey. Now, <laughs> back in the days, speaking of home and away, uh, these would be typically the home jerseys for the Lions and the white would be the away. So I would say these three jerseys are probably my favorite three out of the bunch. Uh, man, but let's start with this one, all right? This one's a 75th anniversary throwback jersey. This is a jersey that he would wear against the Dallas Cowboys on Thanksgiving. If you guys don't do anything, go back to that video, search it on YouTube, and see what he and Emma Smith did. <laughs> it's crazy. And he wore this jersey, 75th anniversary patch, silver lions. Of course, this would be a nod to their throwback jerseys. I'm not sure how often they wore it, but I know they wore it on Thanksgiving Day. And it looked so dope to see Barry Sanders in something just a little bit different. Definitely check that video out because that was a phenomenal game to see. And yeah, they both got busy. They both had like 200 yards rushing. And it was the best of the best going at each other. But Barry Sanders was special, man. Special. This one is so dope to me. The silver lettering. The dope blue. So this is sick, man. This is sick. Barry Sanders, 1994, throwback jersey. So, dope. Now, my favorite two, I guess I'll talk about this one first. And like I said, I wish they came out with the white version of this. I don't know if they did in the past and it's just something that I missed. But this is the 1993 I really love the 60th anniversary patch. That's one of my favorite parts about this jersey. And that's one of the reasons I would like to have this jersey in the collection. And as you can see here, you have the 1993. All he pressed on, except, of course, the patch is stitched on. And the name, B. Sanders, stitched on as well on the nameplate. Man, this is my favorite jersey. It's probably my favorite Barry Sanders jersey. This one also, and I'll explain why this one is one of my favorites. You have that dazzle material on the upper part of the jersey, mesh on the bottom half, and then you have the heat press numbers on this jersey, and clean. Dope jersey, but that patch right there just does everything for me. I love that patch. One of my favorite patches on an NFL jersey is this one right here, all right? Now, I'm going to keep this jersey around just for a little bit because I wanted to show you guys something. So, I'm not the most, like, educational person when it comes to jerseys. I don't know the terminology as much as some people really know the terminology. I ask people for their knowledge on what certain things are. So I know we throw the term heat pressed and screen print pretty loosely around in the Jersey community. I do it all the time. So I'm guilty more than anybody else. But I believe this material is heat pressed. So they slap on the number, they heat, they press it onto the jersey, and you see that solid, thick material, right? Now, I'm mentioning this because in this jersey, this is an original Russell authentic jersey made in USA, and I love this jersey. And I believe this is the original screen print. So you see it has like that thick paint looking type of material i believe this is actual screen print and if you look here you could see the mesh holes and the paint and it kind of cracks and you would see all the old school jerseys have like a cracking to them if they weren't kept right so this is definitely one of those jerseys you can even see the mesh holes here this is definitely a good example to me of what screen print is actually and you can see the mesh holes here as well. So I believe so. Now, again, I could be completely wrong. But when I spoke to somebody who's pretty knowledgeable about this stuff, it seems like this is what screen print looks like. 
and it seems like this is what heat press looks like. So just a little bit of detail there, but this is also one of my favorite jerseys, and I'll tell you why. So this is a 1994 Russell Athletic. They made authentic jerseys, and I want to say that in quotations because I don't really know the dynamics back then. What I do know, this is a size 52, and what I also know, they had different versions, like lower tier versions of these jerseys that'll be in regular sizes. So exactly what we see today, we see a size 52, and then we see another jersey made in a size you know, XL. Made in the USA, which is I think is so dope. What I love about this jersey is the shape, all right? Now, back in these days, this is as close you're gonna get to what a real football jersey is supposed to fit like and supposed to look like. So if I put this jersey on, you guys will probably see it a little bit more, but the upper portion is almost exaggerated big. And the reason behind that, and which I'm assuming, is that this was made to put football pads in. This whole upper portion was made to put football pads in. So this is extremely exaggerated on the upper portion. Really puffy, huge, big, like fluffy. But as we get to the bottom of the jersey, it tapers down extremely, all right? This is how football jerseys are. This is how they were back in the days. And if you look at jerseys now, if you ever looked at a game issue jersey, it's the same exact thing. Up top, it's a different size, but then when it tapers in, it tapers in a lot. And then this part of this jersey is supposed to be tucked in your pants to play football. So they did this jersey pretty authentic as far as the fit. The only thing that I don't know, and I don't know why they didn't put it on, is the nameplate. They don't have a nameplate on here. Maybe that's how it was back then. Or maybe they were just being lazy, or maybe they ran out of nameplates. I don't know exactly why. I'd probably research it just to see if Barry Sanders ever played without a, a nameplate on. But this is supposed to represent the 1994 season. You have the 75th anniversary patch on there, diamond patch. So just funny enough, we have the 75th anniversary for the NBA now. So there's that. And then just like my 1993 jersey, so just like this jersey, you have everything is screen print on this jersey, but the name, the name is stitched on. And if you look at the fonts, Mitchell and S did a pretty good job replicating what the font is on there, the size of the lettering and everything. So shout out to Mitchell and S for getting it right. But this is the 1994 jersey. They don't have a year on this jersey, so it would have been nice to see when this, this jersey actually was produced. But yeah, this is one of my favorites because it has that football jersey look, right? Now, real quick, I'll probably just put the jersey on just so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. You know, it doesn't make sense to talk about it and probably not put it on so you guys don't see what I'm saying. So let me put this jersey on real quick and then we'll get back to the video. All right, guys, so here's exactly what I'm talking about. So as you can see here, this is all pretty puffy and pretty big, pretty exaggerated, right? Now, you have so much room underneath the armpit area. It's like almost like a hockey jersey, how much room there is, right? Look at this. <laughs> I can float in this thing, right? It's like I can fly in this. So we had that part. As we get to the waistline and the torso, look how fitted it is. All right, same back here. Look how fitted it gets. I wish I could show you a little bit more, but it's basically like snug against my hips. All right, so that's how football jerseys were. This jersey coming from that era and seeing how it fits and seeing how it looks, I love it. Of course, Mitchell and Ness isn't gonna give you jerseys that fit like this because they want you to look like a human being, not looking like you're about to jump on a field and sub in, all right? So I get it from Mitchell and Ness's standpoint that they don't want jerseys to, to look like this anymore. But this is how authentic jerseys were back then, all right? Big on top, tapered into the hem. So that is it. This is the last of my Barry Sanders jersey collection. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And we got plenty more coming out this year, man. So stay tuned. And we out. Peace.